Hey, Dr. Julie Steinauer here coming to you live from our clinic at Vision for Life. I have a great patient story I want to tell you a little bit about. Um, I'm also known as Dr. Julie to my young patients for sure. Dr. Julie Steinauer is a little bit too much to say. Okay, so let's talk about our young patients. Um, we actually are super blessed. We work with patients of all ages, even down to, I say, from cradle to grave, um, down to the age of around a couple of months of age, typically. And one of our youngest patients who actually is working in-house with us in our clinic came to us back in March of this year, and she's only three years old. So. Oh my gosh, it's young, right? But it's exciting and it's a lot of fun to work with her. She is definitely precocious. She's a lot of fun. Um, Mom is a lot of fun also. And so I wanted to take the opportunity to just spotlight some things that are going on with her. Now, when we saw her at three years old and one month, whoo, she was young. Um, but she came to us with a problem of using her two eyes together. Both of her eyes would typically want to go out, so she had a type of strabismus where the eyes would line up out. And most of the time, even though she did alternate, most of the time the edge was given to the right eye. It tended to actually want to turn out a little bit more often than the left eye. And because of that, there's just a little bit of a mild amblyopia or a little bit of a lesser level of sight in lazy eye in that right eye. Now she also had a vertical deviation of the eye, so one eye tended to jump up out of alignment. And in her particular case, even though the right eye was the eye that went out most of the time, sometimes the left eye was the one that was jumping up higher vertically. Um, other things that are going on with her was double vision and having no depth perception. So at three, she's got tons of energy, she's running around like crazy, but she's getting into a little bit of trouble because she doesn't have any depth perception using her two eyes together. Now mom has a great background, mom's an occupational therapist, and so she comes to us highly educated in knowing that she wanted to attack something as early on as possible to help her daughter. So let's go through and show you some of the things that we had happen with this little gal in our clinic. And for those of you who watched the replay, let me know that you watch it on the replay. And uh, if you know someone who has either strabismus or amblyopia or maybe double vision or a lack of depth perception, tag them in this video so that they can take a look, especially if it's a young child. Because I'll have to say, over the years, I've always worked with young children, but I haven't necessarily put them directly into therapy. A lot of times what I've done is I've monitored or I've utilized some home therapy activities until I felt like they were old enough. And old enough, quote unquote, was usually somewhere around five to six years of age. However, at my clinic at Vision for Life in Glen Carbon, Illinois, we started noticing we have a ton of super young kids coming to us, especially age three. There were a lot. And what were we going to do about it? Were we going to kind of continue to say that they're too young to come into therapy? Or should we approach this a little bit differently? So what we do now is we approach it on a basis of how mature we think that patient is for all of three years of age. <laughs> and of course, they're not super mature, but there are some that are more mature and developed than others. And the ones that seem to be a little bit more developed and more mature than others definitely make great candidates. In fact, for any of the therapists who are tuning in or doctors who tune, tune in to watch this, what I would say is, is if you're not working with those patients quite yet, you really want to think about it because you know what? They don't lie. They don't fib. They don't fudge. The problem is, is keeping them busy enough because they only have a two to three minute long attention span. But let's dig in and let's show you how this little gal is doing in our clinic. Now we do a couple of tests and even at this age, we made some attempts to do this one. So hopefully I did not flip this around, so you'll see everything backwards on here, sorry about that. But you can see that we didn't see an image with one eye because we just traced what we saw in the center. That was like the test pattern, but we did see with the other eye. So, hmm, okay, so when we're looking over here, we're supposed to see the test image over here. When we look over here, we're supposed to see the test image over here, but we didn't see it. We kind of saw an image here with one eye and an image here with the exact same eye, and so she traced it. 
All right, so now that was actually in October after we had already gone through several months of training and therapy. But let's fast forward and let's take a look at what happened just a couple days ago. And just a couple days ago, we have this. So now we have to understand that at three, we don't have the eye-hand coordination available to just make this super pretty, right? We're not gonna be able to trace it exact or um, you know, the image that we see, we can't trace that exact, but we've got something, wow, one eye seeing something here. Wow, another eye is seeing something over here. Now what we know is that because they're super far apart, if we kind of ignore these things and go super far apart, we know that's a pattern for an eye turn out if you're a doctor or a therapist. But what I'm excited about, we've got something for both eyes. So she's seeing and using both eyes for the first time, which is pretty phenomenal. Okay, so now let's go and let's take a look at another one. So this one's called the VO star. I don't even know what the other one is. It's just test pattern something, something, something. All right, so. <laughs> I don't know what the name of it is. You would think I would need to know that one. All right, so this one, this is a VO star, and um, we can see this is the very first one that she ever did. This was in March at three years old in one month that she did this. Lots of scribbling, lots of scratching. That's okay because we don't have a real high expectation for anything more than that at three. But her next one looked something like this. Okay, now this one was in October. So in October, there's a lot of stuff going on there, right? So a lot of things happening here, and it's a little bit more all around than what the other one is. So let's take a look at the next one. All right, but the next one looks pretty awesome and this was the one from just the other day and so we've got wow we've got kind of a pattern happening and it's almost the same on both sides and we've got almost all the lines drawn and even though it's kind of scratchy which again at three because of eye hand coordination it's not going to be perfect but it just tells us the brain's using two eyes together and getting some coordination that we really need to have so what's awesome about this is that I would tell you if you have patients that you're working with, again, if we're talking about therapists and doctors here, if you have patients that you're working with, then jump into the arena of working with them at a younger age. It's pretty phenomenal. You won't even, you know, you won't even believe all the success that you can have, even at that young of an age. For moms and dads and anyone else who's watching this, aunts, uncles, grandmas, grandpas, <laughs> anyone in there I haven't hit upon yet. Okay, teachers. If you're seeing this, then what you need to know is, is that it doesn't, there's not an age limitation to what we can do with patients. There's always something to be done. The younger they are, the better it is. The older they are, it just means that they have many more years of kind of bad habits formed with vision that we need to maybe break down with the brain and retrain. But it doesn't mean that there's a certain age range that you cannot do something to correct. That's a fallacy, it's not true. Okay, so that's not true at all. So we can correct things at any age, and even at a young three years old, we've been working with this little girl, having some amazing results with her. She's getting down near to the end of what we kind of considered her original program, and we've got to do some reevaluation because she needs a little bit more support. She's young. And so we're gonna kind of do some reevaluation, take a little bit of time off, which is also what I recommend, to let her mature just a little bit farther and then come back and finish up a few little things to be able to help her really solidify the very last thing, which is that we need at distance, we no longer have an eye turn at near, we no longer have a real discrepancy between the two eyes, and depth perception, all these things are coming on board for her, but we still have some difficulty using our two eyes together at distance which, you know, when you're three, you don't do tons of stuff at distance. Your world is pretty close. So it's a little harder to get the brain to kind of figure that pattern out as opposed to everything else. So I hope you guys like this information. Again, if you know someone with strabismus, if you know someone with amblyopia, and if you know someone, um, in particularly a young patient or a young person who has these types of problems and they're wondering, you know, what can be done? 
tag them in this, into this video so that they can watch it and they can see that some amazing results can come about. So with that, I hope you guys liked it. Um, drop me some comments down below, ask me some questions, send me a private message if you'd like. We would love it if you would become part of our regular email system once a month sending you out awesome information and newsletters and all that good stuff. If you would like that, then comment below, add me too. You can privately send me a message with your email so you're not putting it out there for the world to see and we would be happy to add you. And with that, I'm going to say have an awesome day. Be awesome.